Tim Press Junkets this week. I don't think he's nervous. It's not Choplin's style. A tall, rangy fighter. He's got a good four inches in reach over Yotsun Clay, and he has to use every inch of it. He's got to stay away from Yotsun Clay's left kick. He cannot stand toe to toe with Yod. Choplin has to stick and move, play the angles game, score and get out of range. He's beaten the likes of Chris McGimby, Johan Ladon, and Cedric Muller, but Yodson Clyde Pack is a whole different breed of animal. Yeah, you wonder when you're on the outside using your arms as the reach advantage, well, you're on the end of Yodson Clyde's nasty rear leg kick. We'll see if he can figure it out and circle away from it and do what he's going to do to avoid it. Do you feel like you're watching a man being led to the gallows? Or could he produce a major upset here? Choplin's a great athlete. I mean, he has great boxing skills. He's very quick. He's very nimble. You know, it's it's not unthinkable that he could pull off a huge upset here tonight. But he's got an uphill battle, most certainly. He believes he can knock out Yodson Clow with his hands. His left hook, his best punch. And now, making his way to the red corner, please welcome Yotsan Clyde Fairtex. After all the talk, after all the hype, one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters in history, Yotsan Clyde Fairtex, finally makes his first appearance on American soil. What an historic moment for Yod and for American Muay Thai. He's excited to be here. He's been like a giddy kid in a candy shop all week here in Vegas, and he looks ready. A 200-plus fight veteran, a five-time world champion, the Contender Asia champion, a multiple Lumpini Stadium champion. He's beaten great names, including Wayne Parr twice, Cosmo Alexander twice, Marco PK, Tamansua, Samkor, Kim Sitsongbinov, who he knocked out with an elbow in his last fight. They call him the boxing computer because he's so good. Powerful punches, super intelligent, but his left kick to the legs, to the body, is the weapon to watch. It's scary, crazy scary. One of the hardest strikes of any fighter in any combat sport. The tail to take. Experience all the way to Yon. He gives up the height, 5'7 versus 6 foot even. He gives up the reach by four inches in the arms, by one inch in the legs. Our Access TV experts fight cage. Johnson Clay has the boxing. Johnson Clay has the kicks. Knees are even. Elbows Johnson Clay. Speed is even. Johnson Clay fair checks for the first time in America. Gregory Choplin comes in the underdog. Can he pull off an upset? Jake Gutierrez to get us underway. Ladies and gentlemen, Lion Fight Promotions in association with the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Access TV is proud to present our featured bout of the evening, five rounds in the 163 pound division. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Bill Brady. Commissioners are Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, TJ Day, and Pat Lundvall. The executive director is Keith Kaiser, our physicians at ringside, the lead is Dr. Al Capanna, assisted by Dr. Anthony Ruggeroli and Dr. David Watson. Our timekeepers this evening are Ernie Howdigy and Toby Murray. Our three judges scoring this main event will be John Baker, Patricia Morris Jarman, and Glenn Trowbridge. And when the action starts, the man in charge, referee Tony Weeks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, right here in exciting Las Vegas, Nevada, it's time for the leather to fly. This is the main event. Introducing first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. He entered the ring wearing black, green, and orange, and he weighed in at 162 and a half pounds. His professional record, 54 victories, only nine defeats, 23 wins by knockout. He comes to us from Saint Denis, Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Gregory Chopin. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the red trunks, and he weighed in at 160 and a half pounds. With 251 professional bouts, his record stands at 180 victories. 71 defeats, 
68 big wins by knockout from Pattaya, Thailand. Introducing the old Sankai Fairtex. A massive ovation here for Yotsun Clive Fairtex. Tremendous crowd at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Yotsun Clive, the final blessing, the removal of that well traveled Mongkok. When he takes the t shirt off, you are going to see a buffed Yotsun Clive. There was a time in his career when he used to blow up between fights. He used to come into fights pretty puffy. Not so. If you saw him last time against Kim, who he knocked out with an elbow, he was ripped, stripped, and striated. And once okay, again, looks like the charges. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. Choplin, as always, looks a specimen. The Frenchman of Ivorian descent, now based out of Miami, Florida. Yeltsin Clyde Fairtex out of the Fairtex camp in Thailand. Ties to a top there. Camp name as their last name. Hence, Yeltsin Clyde Fairtex, full count, full prompt. Michael Chevello, Pat Militic with you. Our main event at Lion Fight Out here on Access TV. Yeltsin Clyde, the Southport. Choplin needs to throw his right hand. How long do we see Yeltsin Clyde line up his real leg around kick? And that nasty cross. Talk about great weapons in the world of striking sports over the years. The hook of Mike Tyson, the jab of Larry Holmes. Talk about the straight right hand of Bada Hari, the axe kick of the late Andy Hug. You've got to put the round kick of Yachtson Clyde Fairtex in there, the left leg round kick. Outside leg kick from Choplin. There's Yachtson Clyde's cross. There's the body shot. Nice explosion in with that jab. Choplin. Oh, the head kick! And Choplin's been caught! Yachtson Clyde tracking that left leg kick. Going deliberately to that rear arm. If he doesn't have it in the place where it's supposed to be, knock him out. Switch to Orthodox here. Can't get lazy though against Choplin. Now back to South Force Dance Yacht. Inside leg kick from Choplin. He's already tasted the power in that left leg of Yotsun Clay. Checks the low kick. Speed on that lead hand of Yacht as he threads the jab. And there's one off the left hand. Straight left cross. Nice. That's a power. Look at that head kick. The speed, the timing, the ferocity. You can, see, leg kick. you can see in Choplin's eyes when that left leg hits. He's like, oh, my God. And to the head is not really the strength of that kick. It's when God powers it to the body. That's when you're in trouble. That's when ribs are cracked. That's when livers are just smashed. Choplin circles off. That's what he needs to do. Not become a stagnant target. Use his lateral footwork. Stick and move. Stick and move. Not to climb. Doing a good job of controlling centering, backing up. There's the kick to the ribs, and it backs up Choplin against the rocks. Look at the damage that right arm of Choplin with that rear leg also. Once again, he's going to the body now. This is not a slow start from Johnson Clark. Chambers the knee and scores. Got to put a knee guard on here, does Choplin? Referee Weeks breaks both men, 20 seconds remaining. Already Johnson Clay has gone to the legs, body and head. And there he is to the body again. The big boom shakalaka. That left leg round kick. When you rip people off their feet with kicks like that, you know you've got power. And again to the body of Joplin. Trying to fold him in half like origami. End of the first round. 10-9, Johnson Clay. Your first time ever watching Yotsun Clay live. How cool of an experience is it? It's, it's amazing, and you know, a lot of people are worried about throwing full power kicks because they're worried about injuring their own shin bone. But Yotsun Clay's shin bones are so conditioned, he doesn't care what it hits. Here it comes, smoking through, perfectly placed right underneath the arm. Another one smokes it in, like I said, and takes him clean off his feet. That's a lot of power, massive power to rip a guy like John with all his feet just by kicking him in the body. Yeah, but...
Yonsen Fai Fair Jets three time Lumpini yeah. Stadium champion. There are two big stadiums in Thailand, Ranj the Moon and Lumpini. To be the champion of either of those two stadiums means you are the best in the world at what you do. Yonsen Fai is a three time Lumpini Stadium champion. Good right hand off the belt here from Gregory Choplin. He has not done yet. Left cross from Yon. Winding up the left kick early now to the body. Choplin looking for a take tip. Gets a good executed dump there from the Frenchman. Yeah, a lot of tricky footwork going there, trying to trip each other. That was cool to watch. Step through knee. Leg kick from Choplin. This is more like it. Checks the inside leg kick. Okay, and Yon just tracks to the body. I can't explain the velocity of this kick as it smokes him. It's uh, unbelievable. And Yon now gets the tie down. See him just hip in and block that leg. Choplin thought about the right hand. Good inside leg kick. Oh, Yon got kicked as he went to the body. Nice reach use there from Gregory Choplin. Yeah, Yachtson Clyde blinked a couple times. Looks like he got uh, a little bit of a sting off that punch. Sometimes when you throw a kick and you do what the tides do, you chop, you pull your arm back to get more power, you're open to a counter. That's what Choplin found on Yachtson Clyde on that occasion. Good one two kangaroo there from Yachtson Clyde. Now they tangle up and waltz back in front of our commentary position. Tony Weeks breaks both men. 125 remaining, second round, and one first round to Yod. There was a nice sweeping inside guy kick from Choplin. Yeah, Choplin timed the kick from Yodson Clyde through the lead hook and then the rear leg. Yodson Clyde can't afford to get lazy. Can't afford to solely rely on that left leg. And again, a looping left from Choplin just catching Yodson Clyde at awkward angle. You see, Yodson Clyde drops the right hand as he throws the left and Choplin's going to start timing that. Although Yod's main weapon is that left up round kick, if you go to the well one time too much and you're not throwing any other technique, your opponent's going to time off an encounter. Absolutely, when you're on one foot, you're vulnerable. Body shot from Yod. Straight to the bread basket. And gets another dunk. Choplin has to pick himself up off the canvas every time. It's mentally deflating. As well as physically fatiguing. Body shot again from Yod. So I'm going back to the head later with that. Beats the right hand as Yodson Clay. He's fast with that right. Here's Chopper. And Yod gets off a knee on the clinch. <laughs> Yodson Clay goes to the body. Chopper backs up. There's been some better signs in this second round before Gregory Chopper. Two down. Folks, if you're on Twitter, don't forget to add us at Access TV Fights. While you're there, at Chevello Voice, at Pat Militich. As we take a look at some of the action as it went down in that second round. Here we go, nice little parry and then the jab over the top. Here they are working their legs with each other. Nice job by Choplin to actually win that little encounter. There's another entanglement. Nice clinch work here. See how he blocks the knee with his, straightens the leg. You just push your hips in and your knee into their knee, straightens their leg, and then you dump them over the top of it. Choplin timing the rear leg and kicking the uh, post leg. He's dead, he can't shoot. He doesn't let him shoot. It's very good, Greg. And when he says the point, it's there you have to hit it. The point! The number one trending topic on Twitter at the moment, Pat. It beats out in number two. You know your Aussie win. And number three, Happy Australia Day. Yes, Happy Australia Day. I forgot. Not that I'm disappointed. I'm glad that we're tweeting number one tonight worldwide. Here we go, third round. Two rounds to zip in favour of Yachtson Clyde Phoenix X. But better signs from Choplin in the second. Good inside leak here. And again from Choplin. Not much in. Three in a row from Choplin. They'll score for him. Yachtson Clyde in the second round seemed a little too reliant just on that left leg. Pat lift his hands in the corner. Yes, but there is damage to the forearm of Gregory Chaplin right now from those kicks bouncing off of him. And that was Yonsen Clyde's game plan he told us yesterday. He said, boys, I'm going to break his arms until they drop and then knock him out. And those kicks will snap your forearm in half. If you block them incorrectly, they will snap your forearm. Chaplin trying to 
Grab that right hand again, looking for the jaw, the chin of Yod. Nice elbow over the top by Choplin there. Yod might be looking to try and lock up into a clinch here. Snakes and elbows here, throws that left leg round, kick to the body. Step through me, glancing right hand from Choplin. Body shot from Yod, dropping his hands momentarily. Oh, that rep kick in again. Choplin's body taking tremendous, tremendous punishment. Yeah, the back with some nice punches there. Beautiful right hand to come, uh, lead it off. You gotta come back with something. Keep Yonson Kai honest on those kicks. Yonson Kai wants to go in the grapple. What's he got here? And then perhaps the city is off the right leg. Choplin wants out of the grapple. Choplin wants the chance to throw that right hand. He senses that Yod is dropping that left. Oh, Yod puts it in the top and goes down. It was a moment's delay, but Choplin finds the canvas. Yod's dropped it. That's a class. Timing on that lead hook was impeccable. Choplin stands up. Referee wipes off the gloves, but Choplin is on rubber legs. The eyes are all there. Yod Sinclair lines up the heavy artillery. Here. Yon with that killer instinct. He's stopping, man. He's stopping. Oh, down he goes again! Listen to this crowd! Chopper may not get up! Yon's dropped him twice! Eight, nine, ten! It's good night, Irene! Yonson Clay Vertex on his American debut shows the biggest star that he is! This place has gone off its rocker pack. He dismantled Joplin. Like a Dis rock star here. Absolutely, they know who he is. It's beautiful. He dismantled Joplin. If there was a mosh pit by the ring, you'd have half naked ladies scrambling over the top to try and touch Yotsen Fly right now. They are going bananas. It was the first knockdown. Delayed reaction, Choplin went down. Was surprised he got up from that one, and here's the final knockdown. Clips him with the right. Rips the left hand into the body. Just excellent timing, precision, and power from Yod. Two punch combination. Another look. It's a highlight reel stoppage. It'll be shown around the world. This will be making Thai headlines back home. Huge tie contingent here. They have turned out in their droves. The tie community here in Vegas have really embraced him. There was a full page story and advertisement in the local tie paper. Scott Kent, the president of Lion Fighters, done such a tremendous job of bringing big-time Muay Thai back, bringing it here to Vegas and putting on these stellar cards in front of these sold-out crowds and getting world-class talent. I mean, Yotsen Klai. I first had the chance to commentate him in 2008 in Singapore. He's run through the Contender Asia Championship where he beat Wayne Parr in the final. And I tell you what, it never gets old commentating Yotsen Klai Fairtex. You never get bored seeing him live, just always that energy that surrounds him. He really is combat royalty, and you saw why here tonight. When he started to load up that left leg round kick, when he went to the body, which is where he likes to go with that kick particularly, and then the finish with the hands, you see why they call him the boxing computer. Let's go to center in, they're going to make it all official here, Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee Tony Weeks reaches a count of 10 at 2 minutes 40 seconds of the third round. The winner by knockout, Yotsan Klai Fairtex. He came in tremendous shape again like he did against Kim last time out. If he stays in this shape, there are very, very few who can stand with him. Pat Militich now has Yotsan Klai Fairtex. Fairtex. The, uh...
legend, Yachts and Fly Fairtex. How do you like being in America? ชอบมั้ยมาแรกก็นี่ในคิดถึงบ้านครับตอนนี้พอมาอยู่ได้ his style, his left hand, left part is going to be hard. And uh, the lead hook, what was it that, that set that up for you? Was it the crosses to the body that lowered his guard that enabled you to land that lead hook? My style could be like heavy punch, body, up to the head, leg kick, body kick. That's my style. Well, I'm sure the American fans have enjoyed the experience, and we'd love to have him back again on American soil to fight. Is there anybody out there in the world that he'd like to fight back here in America? Artur Koshenko is the man he's talking about there, the Ukraine guy. He want to fight uh, Andy Sauer at the Thai, at Thai Ru, so not, not kickboxing. He want to fight full Thai Ru with him. Also, he want to fight Kalinchenko from uh, Russian. Yeah. All right, we'd love to see it. Yatsukai Fairtex, fans give it up for the champion. Yatsukai Fairtex, Kulinchenko.